Now, your weekly Wolfpack Sports Update, brought to you by News 5. Hi, I'm Lee Douglas with your first Wolfpack Sports Update of the school year, and we have some good stuff to talk about. The CSU Pueblo soccer teams both opened the season last week with mixed returns. First, we check in with the women's team, which opened with regional opponent Northern State last Friday. Senior Gabby Gonzalez snuck this goal over the head of the Northern State goalkeeper to tie the game up at one, but it would be all CSU Pueblo could muster as they go on to lose the opener 4-1. CSU Pueblo would, however, come back to get its first win of the season on Labor Day, beating Adams State 2-1. The men's team opened in balmy Phoenix to take on 13th ranked Grand Canyon last Friday. CSU Pueblo would lose three zip to Grand Canyon, but tie 1-1 with Dixie State out of Utah on a neutral field in Phoenix on Sunday. The CSU Pueblo volleyball team started its season under new coach Jen Gomez at the Rockhurst Classic in Kansas City last week. The high point of the weekend was a four-set win over conference pro Chadron State. The marquee player all weekend long was senior Bernadette Petrie, who had 15 kills against Chadron and a total of 52 kills over four matches on the weekend, earning all tournament honors. But the pack ended up going 1-3 and three at Rockhurst on the weekend. Now, the news of the week, however, was the Thunder Wolves football team. Their unlikely win at West Texas A&M, a storied program that started the season, ranked 19th in the nation. CSU Pueblo started slowly, falling 10-zip after West Texas A&M scored on their first play from scrimmage following a packed turnover. But following a 56-yard strike from quarterback Ross Dowson to DeAndre Cooper to the one-yard line, Dowson punched it in on the quarterback sneak to cut the lead from 10-7. The game would stay close, and the Thunderwolves had trouble getting the lead, but a big 62-yard punt return by sophomore and Pueblo East product Josh Sandoval helped to set up one of four field goals by eventual RMAC Special Teams Player of the Week, Kyle Major, including this game winner with five minutes remaining. The result was a signature win for the pack, 26-24 over a team considered to be a favorite for a national playoff spot. CSU Pueblo is now ranked 21st in the nation following that upset. That's the highest ranking ever in a Division II poll for a Thunderwolf team. CSU Pueblo opens its home schedule Saturday when it hosts perennial NAIA power, Northwestern Oklahoma State, at the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl. That does it for this week. We'll be back soon with another Wolfpack Sports Update. I'm Lee Douglas.